Hello, hello. All right, I want to throw a crazy curveball your way, which is how would things look different for you if you actually expected you would gain weight and you were okay with that and you weren't shocked when you stepped on the scale and it was up and it was like, oh, wow, it's up. I just recently did a week 62 weight check-in with the community and I was up 0.7 pounds and my response was win. <laughs> I'm only up 0.7 pounds for this week because it was the week of Christmas. It was the week I moved into my new house. I, If I go back to my past self, I usually easily gain 20, 15 pounds through the entire holiday season. That's not with moving included. Um, when you throw the stress of moving a family from one house to another, that can sometimes lead to eating out more. It can lead to uh, maybe eating things you wouldn't normally eat. And so for me, I had a, a to my expectation was I would gain weight. I knew that uh, because I've done this so many times. I've monitored my weight now for over nine years in maintenance, and I know what things cause my weight to trend up. I know having things like a nice big Christmas dinner with my family, foods I might not normally eat, moving a family from one house to another, those things for me can cause situations where my body weight goes up. So I don't have an expectation I'm going to maintain or lose. I know it's going to go up. But by knowing that and thinking it through on the front end, when I see something like, oh, I'm up 0.7 pounds for the week. It's like, okay, great. That's not nearly as uh, <laughs> impactful as I thought it might have been. And so it goes back to what are your expectations? Are your expectations really being honest with yourself based on past behaviors? Uh, do you think that when you consider all factors, because here's the thing, weight loss and weight management does not happen in a bubble, okay? So what I mean by that is never in your life are you going to be in this like perfect bubble state where you don't have to experience life, life's tragedies, traumas, harshnesses, positive rewards and accomplishments. Like you're not divorced from the world around you. Your weight will go up. It will go down. That happens. The more that you can learn about yourself, the more that you can become aware of the scenarios and situations that cause your weight to go up, you can actually do little pep talks with yourself before going into it. Hey, you know what? This week I'm facing Christmas and a family move all in the same week. My weight's probably going to go up. So let's just try to keep it as minimal as possible. Okay. Versus, oh my gosh, I got to move. I got Christmas. I'm scared to death. What if I gain weight? You are going to gain weight. We know this. <laughs> Like, let's not fool ourselves, right? Like, let's just be totally honest. This is going to happen. So let's just try to minimize it as much as possible. It's like we're kind of divorced from the reality. We wish we could do something maybe right now we can't do. And we just have to sometimes accept where we are. Now, does that mean that forever and ever, amen, you can't make progress? No. It just means there's going to be those weeks, those times of the year where weight loss is not going to be possible. And you want to minimize weight gain as much as you can. But by having those expectations really locked in and not, and not expecting something that can't or won't happen, you prevent yourself from feeling super frustrated and annoyed and angry. And it comes out like, hey, win, I only gained 0.7. And that was interesting, everyone's response in the community, because they said, you know, hey, Heather, Seeing you write that actually changed my thinking about my weight and what happened this week. Because see, if we always expect only A is a response to everything we do, but B, C, and D are all realistic responses, but we never entertain the idea of it, we can't imagine a world where B, C, or D happen. We haven't entertained it. We have no clue how we're gonna process that. But see, I've had B, C, and D happen. I know what those feel like. That's that getting the, getting the lived experience, the time under your belt. Once you've done it, you're like, oh yeah, that's what normally happens here, right? Like you're not surprised, you're not shocked. Does it make me happy to gain weight? No. But if I know it's gonna happen, I expect it, and mentally I'm prepared for it, totally different than if I think I shouldn't gain, or God forbid I thought I should have lost, 
I'm gonna feel super frustrated with myself. So I just want to encourage you to really start becoming more honest with yourself, accepting what's really going on in your life and what you're facing, and ask yourself, what is a reasonable expectation? All right, guys, thank you for joining me today. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let other people know about it and let me know what other videos I could help you with in the future. You guys take care. I'll talk to you soon.